What up, guys? It is Joe for show doing a bit of a double commentary, I guess you could call it. A, a dual topic commentary. There you go. That's a better way to call it. So, the first topic that I wanted to discuss was the COD Ghost multiplayer reveal that just happened the other day. And I also wanted to give a little bit of an announcement, uh, a little achievement that I, a real life achievement that I accomplished. So, first, let's talk about these new weapons. We have over 30 new weapons coming out. You have plenty of iron sight sniper rifles, which that could either be very good or very bad, depending on how this works out. And my personal favorite, uh, the chainsaw. I can't wait to see what kind of gun that is. Um, I mean, of course, it's going to be some sort of light machine gun, but it looked very interesting, we shall say. <laughs> So, anyway, uh, I also got a bit of a screen cap on the Create a Class. Uh, that'll be coming up in just a minute. And the new Create a Class system is completely revolutionary, according to Activision. Completely brand new, revamped, blah, 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 blah. And basically all they did was add a point system like they did for Black Ops 2. Except it's not the pick 10 system, because they can't use that. That'd be stealing. Uh, basically what they did is they have, you have a budget now. A point budget. And this point budget you use to equip like your secondary, well I'm sorry. Your secondary counts as one, but it's not considered a point, if that makes sense. Basically you have a set amount of points for your uh, perks. So you can have up to a uh, up to 11 perks and you can have as few as no perks. I mean, if you want to roll that way and roll with no perks, go right ahead. Um there is a total of 35 perks that you can choose from and you can have up to like I said 11 of them at one time depending on how your classes are set up. Um but like I said, this whole custom class thing is really similar to the pick, pick 10 system Sorry, that is currently being used in Black Ops 2. Um, I also wanted to talk about the new killstreaks. There are over 20 new killstreaks for this game. Um, I have been able to confirm by watching the video and having a close eye that... Um, the sentry gun is confirmed as a 5 kill streak. The vulture drone is a 7 kill streak. And you can pilot a helicopter at a, as a 12 kill streak. I was not able to figure out the Odin strike, which is supposed to be like the big kill streak to get in Ghosts. Was not able to figure out what the Odin strike is. I'm guessing it's going to be about 15. Judging by how most Call of Duty's go, that, or it could be as high as. I don't know, 18? I mean, that seems a little excessive, but who knows. Um, also, another unfortunate thing that I was that I found out was that noob tubes are back. Uh, very sad. I was really hoping that they were going to get rid of them finally, but for whatever reason, they brought them back. Um, I am um a lot. I'm very sorry. <laughs> My personal favorite is going to be the Juggernaut Maniac, which will be in the Assault Strike package. Oh yeah, that's right, they brought back the three packages. I did, completely forgot to mention that. So, Support Strike, uh, Specialist, and Assault. All of the Strike packages are back. Uh, not the best choice in my opinion. I think they really should have just stuck with the... Assault and support because now with the specialist strike package you could have like up to 15 or something like that some ridiculous number of uh, Perks and if you get if you get your specialist bonus what you get all You get all the perks. I mean there's an obnoxious number of perks in this game Are you gonna get all of them? Or are you just gonna get a set amount that you choose? So that's basically my rant on the support package and stuff. Uh, I shouldn't say just the support package, the kill streak package. And now on to my big 
announcement. So I actually got partnered finally with full screen and I'm extremely pumped about that. You know, I've been trying since I first started my channel to get partnered with somebody and it took a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of effort in order for me to get where I am. Um, I know I couldn't have done it without you guys. Uh, without you, I'd just be posting videos on the internet for strangers that don't care. I mean, now at least I have strangers that do care. <laughs> but, sincerely, it means a lot to me. That's why I put out the Supporter Saturday videos, is to show you guys that I do appreciate everything that you do. I plan on maybe, possibly, releasing Supporter Saturday twice a week because of how much support I get from you guys. I do want to mention the fact that you can apply at full screen whenever you want. There will be a link. There's a link on my channel now to apply whenever you want. You know, they're a great partnership company. They, they've they helped me out extremely. They're making my fan base grow exponentially. And I'm extremely excited to be working with them. So that was my big announcement. Sorry that it wasn't anything special for you guys. But, I mean, it means a lot to me. So, one last thing that I did neglect to mention uh, were the game modes. I forgot to mention the, uh, some of the new game modes that they did announce for COD Ghost. Uh, one of which is Cranked, which is, if you've seen the movie Crank, it's kind of similar to that, except instead of your heart stopping, you explode. Um, basically, once you get a kill streak, or once you once you get a kill, I'm sorry, you have a timer that pops up, and you have a total of, I believe it was 40 seconds to get as many kills as you can before you blow up, and that one looks actually pretty cool. And the next game mode that I'm going to mention is going to be extremely helpful for me since I suck at Search and Destroy. Um, they got rid of Search and Destroy, and now it's called Search and Rescue, which is a combination of Search and Destroy and Kill Confirmed. Basically how that works is instead of it just being uh, you get killed and you're done for the round with Search and Destroy, now when you get killed, there's a tag, and you have to collect the tag. If you collect your teammate's tag, they get revived. If you collect an enemy's tag, he's done for the round. So that's going to help me out a lot because I tend to rush and get myself killed quite quickly in Search and Destroy. <laughs> um, I did not also, uh, I neglected to mention that they also have a new revamped AI, which will unfortunately be jump shotting, corner camping, drop shotting, and behaving as humanly as possible a.k.a. they made the AI douchebags, which is not going to be fun because I like to, when I play against computers, I like them to be easy and I enjoy myself, not have them corner camping. But, you know, other people like it, so I'm going to have to deal with it. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, this is pretty much what the entire video was supposed to be about. I know... I didn't neglected to mention a lot of stuff. I said um a lot in this video because I completely ad-libbed it. But, you know, it's all cool. I mean, that's the whole point of this is to grow and learn. And I n will never again ad-lib an entire 10-minute video ever again. I am not good with speeches. But, yeah, this is uh, Joe Fischo sign. Oh, before I sign off. This was a domination match that I was playing on Cove. I ended up going 51 and 10, I believe. And I did get my canine unit, so this was a very good match for me. Okay, so now it's Joe Fusho signing off. Peace out, guys. Objective achieved. Good work.